Hello everyone, today I have a few clicks. If you guys are working on the valve cover on a Honda Odyssey, these are the tips. I watched some videos where some people were having issues removing this bracket out of the way. So they pretty much couldn't get this uh, out of the way and they were having issues removing the bracket. But this is pretty simple. I'm gonna tell you so you don't spend too much time and also you don't do extra work. So this is simple. Uh, you guys got this connection here for the alternator. Don't touch any of that. Anything related to the alternator, leave it as is. Take this connection out, this one too. Obviously, disconnect the coils, all of them, and, re and cl unclip this bracket from here. From here, boom, comes out. You also got a few connections here, that one, two here. Take those out. And on this one, take that out. This one, you gotta take this out too. And it's pretty simple, you just pop it out like this out boom it goes out it has a zip tie you can cut it out but uh you can just pull it out without having to cut it out and also you're just gonna have this one left this core this connection goes down there and it has a hook that hooks to the bracket that that is holding the fuse box i don't know if you guys can see it there it pops up it's right there it pops up and also this core is gonna come all the way up here and it, these two bolts screws are holding the the battery power and also the core that i was telling you this is the core that you gotta get loose so pretty much you gotta take those two out take those two out and then after that you're gonna be able to remove the whole thing out of your way and just you know just hold it right here so it's not on your way and then you're gonna be able to take everything out pretty simple also i assume you guys are also removing i mean replacing the uh, Vitek solenoid gasket which is for this one don't touch these bolts don't touch those bolts leave them as is don't touch those you just gotta take this one out and do these two on the bottom okay take that out and also uh, and that's it because if you guys touch uh, I mean if you guys get those loose then it might start leaking from the bottom and also if you guys take this out you're gonna have to take all the internals out to be able to remove this part so don't touch that and usually when it leaks is from here from the upper sail from the one i was telling you to remove the bolts from so that's it for this quick video guys let me know guys what you guys think if you guys like working on cars and you guys like what uh, watching videos related to cars please subscribe to the channel let me know also if you have a channel so i can subscribe to your channel thank you so much for watching have a good day